Hi, hello, welcome to home school. This is your class 10 mathematics. I hope everybody are doing good and safe at your houses. As your examinations are approaching nearer, I think by this time, most of the people might have completed your practice in mathematics. How the board is changing our question paper? Accordingly, we are providing all those videos for you. As your Karnataka State Board have changed your question paper pattern, in the same manner, we have picked some MCQs from each and every chapter and we tried to provide you and some problems we gave you as a homework. And to solve these MCQs, minimum basics of formulas and complete all chapters formulae we have discussed in two videos. And if you have a basic knowledge of those two videos, you can solve any type of multiple choice question. And in a similar way, every chapter we have provided you MCQs. Whereas compared to other subjects, other subjects MCQ answering is very easy. But whereas in mathematics, we need to solve each and every problem and we need to answer. So understanding problem is very important. And afterwards, application of the formulae. Which formulae we need to apply to solve this MCQ? Solving MCQs is a challenge for you. So mathematics will be very easy. Keep on practicing like this. I hope uh, most of the people might have ended your practice. Don't stop your practice until you go for the examination. You go a thorough practice in mathematics. Today I am here to discuss with you a blueprint of mathematics for Karnataka State Board. 2020-21 examination that will be very nearer there is no particular blueprint which is provided by the board we we are going to analyze by seeing the board model question papers and as you all know two model question papers have released and those two model question papers i have solved if you want to see those videos you can go to the description box and check those videos. So by seeing those two multiple choice question papers, I have done my own blueprint according to my vision. So we can have a minimum guessing of the blueprint. So according to my vision, I have done blueprint on this mathematics. So let us go with it. As you all know that in mathematics, we have 15 chapters. But due to this pandemic situation, they have deleted four chapters. Those are areas related to circles, real numbers, polynomials and probability. Other than those four chapters, we are going to see the blueprint. Let's see with the first chapter. First chapter, arithmetic. Arithmetic progressions. Second chapter, triangles. Third chapter, pair of linear equations in two variables. Fourth chapter, circles. Fifth chapter, areas related to circles not there. Sixth chapter, constructions. Seventh chapter, coordinate geometry. Eighth chapter, real numbers not there. Ninth, polynomials also not there. 10th quadratic equations 11th chapter introduction to trigonometry 12th chapter some applications of trigonometry Thirteenth chapter, 
statistics 14th chapter probability not there 15th well surface surface areas and volumes okay so from all these chapters we are going to analyze the blueprint from the board released model papers that is model paper 1 and model paper 2 okay now let me write here model paper 1 model paper 2 so in model paper 1 how many questions occurred from each chapter I am going to write first. Arithmetic progression 5, triangles 5, coming to pair of linear equations 4, circles 5 questions, constructions only 1 asked, coordinate geometry 4, quadratic equations 4, introduction to trigonometry 4 and there is no question asked from some application of trigonometry. Statistics, statistics 3, surface areas 5. Let us add now 10, 14, 19, 20, 24, 28, 32, 35, 40. Total, how many MCQs we are going to solve in exam? 40 MCQs. Time limit, 1 hour. Okay. Now let's see the questions appeared from model paper 2. Model paper 2, uh, arithmetic progression 5, triangles 5, then pair of linear equations 3, circles 3 and again constructions 1, coordinate geometry 4, quadratic equations 5, introduction to trigonometry Six questions occurred here. In this model paper also, there is no question from some application of trigonometry. And coming to statistics, three questions. Surface areas, five questions. So let's add these. 10, 13, 16, 17, 21, 26, 32, 35, 40. These are the number of questions occurred from each chapter in model paper 1 and model paper 2. So by seeing this data, we can expect compulsory questions from the chapter. That is arithmetic progressions, pakka you are going to get 5 questions. See model paper 1, 5, model paper 2, 5 questions. Same manner triangles, 5 questions in model paper 1 and 5 in model paper 2. Whereas pair of linear equations, varying first paper 4, second paper only 3 asked. And here circles, first paper they have asked 5 questions, second paper 3. Among these chapters, constructions is the chapter, we get very less MCQs. That is only one MCQ we can expect from this chapter. Coordinate geometry, first paper 4, second paper also 4. And we may expect one more or less also from this chapter. Quadratic equations, first paper 4. Second paper, one question is increased. Whereas here, one question decreased and here one question is increased. Introduction to trigonometry, 4. And in second paper, they have given more preference for this chapter. That is, in second paper, they have picked 6 multiple choice questions from this trigonometry chapter. So first preference due to this chapter. Don't get to a conclusion that we don't get any question from some application of trigonometry. No, your conclusion is wrong. See here, uh, we may expect one question from this chapter. So instead of giving verbal statements, they might give direct question that we feel it as an introduction to trigonometry. So we may expect one question from this chapter also. From statistics compulsory, we can expect three questions. In model paper 1, 3 asked. In model paper 2 also, 3 they have asked. Last chapter, surface areas and volumes. Compulsory, we can expect 5 questions. Among those 5 questions, 2 or 3 questions will be based on formulae. 
see all these chapters i have done the mcqs and tomorrow i am going to release this triangle chapter also so practice all these mcqs your paper will be very easy and don't be tense don't be nervous most of the children have a chance of doing in mathematics is they don't see the sign properly or they don't see the question properly or a calculation three twos are they will write of nine or three square they write it as six they know that three square is nine but in a hurry hurry you will write a wrong answer there you make a mistake so after completing mathematics paper make sure five to ten minutes you go for only checking the answer so among these give more concentration for arithmetic progression triangles and circles introduction to trigonometry surface areas among these all are important we can give less importance for constructions and some applications of trigonometry other than these two all chapters are important so we cannot say that this is important this is not important every chapter is important if you are perfect with every formula you can solve any type of question in mathematics we in our channel home school channel we have done all the two model papers and also each and every chapter mcq videos were provided for you only one chapter is pending mathematics unknowingly you do many mistakes so while you are writing an examination make sure that you just keep 10 minutes for rechecking your paper that is compulsory if you don't keep 10 minutes then you can't see your mistake what you have done many children mistakes are very minor it feels silly mistakes but you do in examination normally while practicing if you do there is no problem but in examination if you do you are going to lose marks so be careful whatever the question you are answering one mark if you fail that will be doubled in the exam suppose if you have done one mistake you are going to lose two marks that keep it in your mind carefully and solve all the mathematics problems carefully compare to all the subjects or uh, time consuming is mathematics space will be provided in your question paper you can solve rough work in that don't touch your omr sheet until you get the answer in mathematics suppose if you do a uh, wrong shading if you realize that answer is wrong no double shading is allowed in omr sheet so make sure if you are perfect with that answer only go for shading okay if you have any doubt you leave that question for some time and afterwards after completing all the questions come back and share the missing questions where you felt starting difficult and that doesn't mean that don't leave any question without shading compulsory each and every question you need to share time time is very important for you in mathematics suppose if you don't know any multiple choice question don't waste more time in that question just go for the one which you know and come back after completing other questions come back and check the one which you don't know try for the answer suppose you are not getting any answer for that try to shade any letter and don't come out from your examination without shading any letter and make sure that don't touch omr sheet until you know the answer if you do a wrong you cannot retrace another option in omr sheet the shading in omr sheet just i want to give you a clue suppose uh, your omr sheet circle or a rectangular shape anything it might be suppose how you try to shade like this you go on shading see here uh, is this correct if the shading is like this the answer what you have done it cannot detect never do your shading in omr sheet like this or don't go for shading like this means completely outside the circle so go for a proper shading suppose if your circle is like this just inside the circle first one or two rounds slowly you do this then you can do fastly like this then it does not come out and total inside part will be shaded and do well in your exam and rock 40 out of 40 in mathematics we wish you all a good luck from your home school and rock in exams thank you all